What's going on guys? Happy Thanksgiving to y'all. It is Thanksgiving Day 2017. Hope you are all doing well. Spending it with loved ones, etc. Um, I uh, have had a great day. And I've been in the house all day doing stuff with the kids and, you know, the family and all that food prep, eating, snacking the whole time, feeling pretty, feeling pretty uh, worthless generally, <laughs> uh, or useless maybe is probably the best better way. And anyway, I thought I'd uh, take a little ride just to get myself out away from the fireplace and you know, before I crack open a bottle of wine or whatever, and uh, cruise down to a dealership here. As you all know. Uh, Black Friday is tomorrow. Black Friday is the biggest shopping day of the year. And that includes uh, car dealerships as well. And you may see lots of car ads going on TV and hearing them on the radio and seeing them on the web and all sorts of big special deals that they supposedly are offering on this day. Um, bottom line is, just like any other day, car dealerships are trying to make money. Um, but uh, it's very, very different from anything that you see on TV with any other type of retailer because retailer you know when they get you in the store for an item that's being sold for a fraction of the cost they're hoping they're expecting you to pick up other things while you're there or for at least you to have such a good enough experience that you will go back to that store um, as opposed to a competitor you know on a different date but the car dealership is a little bit different Obviously, you know, when you go buy a car, you're not like picking up other stuff generally. I mean, they'll try to get you to buy other things, of course, service packages, you know, useless car coating treatments and <laughs> whatever else, right? Anyway, be smart no matter what, guys. Um, don't get pressured into anything. If you're looking at cars, you know, do what's right for you. Don't decide you know, today on a whim that, oh yeah, maybe I do need a new car after all. You know, do yourself the favor of doing some homework and knowing something about the cars that you're interested in. And that includes, I, I know if you're watching this, this channel, you know, you probably already know what you need to know about your cars. But um, do you need, do you know everything that there is to uh, know about, you know, the differences between a Scat Pack and, and an SRT Challenger, you know, um, and what's the difference between a, you know, an SRT and a Hellcat aside from that, you know, that blower, that supercharger that pumps out more than 700 uh, horsepower off of the car. Um, you know, what, what's the difference really between, um, you know, getting a TA392 and a, and a Scat Pack, you know, that has the same motor in it and stuff. So. And what are the differences that you could get in incentives in buying, you know, a 2017 right now versus buying a 2018, you know? Um, so there's a, if you don't know right off the top of your head what are the answers to those questions, and it's okay if you don't, um, what it simply means is that you shouldn't be out there making any decisions on a whim this weekend, you know? Be smart about it, you know? Um, and make sure that you, uh, you know, even though it's real, easy to get caught up in the moment you know make sure that uh, that you're not you're, you're, you're making decisions because you want to um, not because anybody else is in your life all right uh, there are a lot of cats on YouTube right now making some pretty good money it looks like from what I've seen who are you know driving around in their cars and doing car reviews and hey look I traded in my car again I got this one you know and like you know I've traded by my car and, and done videos of it too but um, I'm not going broke doing it, you know? Um, and I can only imagine that some of these young cats especially are maybe not prioritizing things in the way that I would. Uh, and a lot of that I think comes from peer pressure, you know? So if you're, you know, a 20 something year old kid and you think you absolutely are convinced that you have to have a Hellcat, you know, you need to rethink that a little bit more, a lot more because, um, you know, the world is, uh, doesn't care about you, doesn't care about the car, or should I say, doesn't care about the car you have, all right? Really doesn't. Um, your friends, you may think, are impressed with the material possessions that you own, 
but they're not. They may be a little envious of it, you know. Um, they may be wish that they had it, but you know, it's not like that means that they want to be you. Um, you know, you, uh, you know how many jerk offs I've met who have nice cars, who live in nice houses, even who have really nice, well paying jobs. I mean, think about it. I'm sure, y'all do too. You know, does having those nice items suddenly or automatically mean that they're not a jerk off? <laughs> no. <laughs> in fact, sometimes that having that stuff makes that person even more of a jerk off uh, because they think that it's it's of, of some real intrinsic value in this world, and uh, it's not. So, make sure again, folks. Again, two points here. Enjoy the holiday. Check out the sales if you want to. If you're looking for a car already, you know, now's a good time to go ahead and check, especially at the 17s. You can save yourself some money if you know what you're doing. Um, but don't let yourself get be pressured by the by the opportunity and the salesperson. Um, you know, again, that's point number one. And point number two, make sure you're doing it for you. You know, and you're not doing it to uh, to try and impress anybody or to, you know, show that you're keeping up with the Joneses, so to speak, in terms of your cars, all right? All right, guys, be well. Thanks for checking out the channel. I'm about to check out some cars here. It is Thanksgiving, so it's closed. <laughs> That's when I look. All right, guys, be well.